I heard someone say, women who wear wigs, hair color, and makeup will not enter into heaven. They say, we are the tears God's about to separate. Well, I say, God's not that shallow. For the Lord does not see as men sees. For men look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. And I've seen a lot of barefaced, modest outfit wearing vessels, choosing words that whispers the slippery sounds of condemnation that could frostbite your toes. Take you back to the world for sharks to eat. They wear self-righteousness on their sleeves like fine linen for they've forgotten their first love. The reason why they got in this from the beginning. So, step away from the box and look again with the love of Christ. Now, what do you see? For the greatest ornament we could ever wear is the inner beauty and the countenance of the Lord, which cannot be removed with a baby wipe or even taken off at the end of the night. So what do you see through the eyes of the Holy Ghost? Do you see the hurdles I've jumped, the darts I've dodged, the tears I've cried, the souls want? Do you see his footprints in my sand, the wind beneath my wings? If not, I got a story to tell about how he stripped me bare to the bone and created a renewed spirit within me. Yes, I'm a walking, talking testimony of how God can see you through. Create a new garment out of you. So, excuse me while I stand in line with my fellow Esthers, Rahabs, and Ruths. As we untie these heavy loads that you yourself are not willing to lift a finger to move. Does it make you feel good? Does it support your insecurities? Well, I got news for you. There's deliverance for that too.